Hi, I just wanted to give an update on my 125 gallon African cichlid tank. It's six feet long, 18 inches wide. This is the open end, far end toward the room. I have in the both corners at the bottom there are CPVC outputs from the Reina X3 filters. I have universal rocks throughout the tank. I have two floating pieces that the fish really like to swim around and I have some artificial driftwood in here. Um, you can see it just on the left side there. So that's the end and this is a side view. Fish are out but they're always a little skittish when you're walking around them. In the, the back there is an artificial rocks background. It's a you know relatively flat background behind it. I have two inch sponges kind of keeping it out and uh, some of the rocks are real from collected locally but for the most part this piece with the Anubius on it is an artificial piece of a broken a broken fixture that I had before. Um, so the tank has a canopy and below the tank is storage. So I designed it so that the filters would be at the far end of the tank. It would come into the room and basically divide the room. It sort of separates off kind of a little bedroom area. So as we go around, you can see there's um, the light, the canopy there. I have the lights, LED lights that seem to work great. A uh, four foot and a two foot Aquion light. I got a Ken's fish. That was the uh, cheapest place I could find them. The fish seem to be enjoying life there. There's lots of, uh, you know, inside that rock there, there's that filter. But inside this other rock, I cut some sections away on the far side of the rock and sectioned it off with sponges inside so that they have additional hiding places and additional places to, additional caves. Fish seem to all be getting along fine. I've kind of separated into groups of five of each species. I have some synodonis that I'm going to add, hopefully to control the fry. Uh, this is the back. This is where my rain of filters are. And inside this I have that, that heater. Uh, some sponges that kind of add to the biological filtration and then the inputs to the filter there. So this project started you know January. The fish were started introducing the fish in March and now we're in July and it's pretty much set up. Uh, now just enjoy the show. So thank you very much for watching and happy aquarium keeping.